Jason Swindon lost their manager midweek with Scott Lindsay taking the call as well. Having gone in the Steve Milden Hall are in interim charge today for a Swindon side who have done four home games without a win. Mitz over Grimsby are the visitors. They've lost their last four on the road. Mikey O'Neill on loan from Preston makes his Mariners debut. As for Swindon, it's the return today of a fans favourite. Charlie Austin is back in the Robins jersey for the first time in 12 years. And Swindon badly need a win. Four defeats in seven league games. It's Grimsby cracking one from distance, and that's a really good tip over from Solbrin. Terrific early ascendancy, this from Grimsby. What a hit that is, and a great save from Bryn. So we'll have one last three league meetings between the sides. Here they come. There's notable chance, and off the post. Really good effort that from Saidu Khan. Swindon desperately close. Both sides with huge chances to take the lead. Does ever so well, great hit, thunders off the upright. Back to score. Things be with a bit of freedom, a crunching challenge, and off the referee. And the referee, at the moment, is completely collapsed, and there is some concern here. And uh, Kieran Green of Grimsby straight away waved over the medical assistance and the referee Sam Perkis is stretched off. And this is uh, Lee Crowhurst. There has been an eight-minute stoppage and we have a new referee. Still goalless at the county grounds. This is uh, Hutter. It's a good first season with Swindon. He delivered the right cross, onto the head of Austin, and home for Swindon. And what a return this is. A goal on his return, 12 years after he left. He's been at QPR, Burnley, Southampton, West Brom and Brisbane, and now back at Swindon and scoring for them again. Charlie Austin, Swindon 1, Grimsby 0. At the wall. So Andrew and Sands in great form coming into this one. Both need a victory. Grimsby four wins in 13 league games. Swindon just two wins in eight. And Grimsby probing here. It needs a strong challenge. Angus McDonald, the Swindon captain, to the rescue. Grimsby have had their moments, they're about to pull the trigger. Great challenge. And it's Khan booting forward again, he's had a good game so far. Williams uh, was beaten to the header. And that's an interesting ball forward, and Swinner might be in, and this might be trouble. Danny Amos, was he the last man? The ref is reaching for his pocket. And he's off, straight red. And he was taken out, Jacob Wakeling. Grimsby down to 10. 34 minutes gone. Grimsby are going to have to play the rest. Still got an appetite for... To come forward, Grimsby Town, they have been decent in this first half, they've had their chances. Did beat Stockport last week, and Stockport have been going great guns. This might fall nicely, crosses deflected, huge chance, it's wide. What an opportunity. Swindon carved open again. They have been a couple of times in this first half. Brilliant ball in from Glennon. It's close.
after the clearance for Angus McDonald. You would think that Swindon would be able to take advantage of having the numerical advantage and coming forward here, space here for Austin, who hits the post. I think it was the junction between bar and post. Charlie Austin has cracked it. Swindon close to a second goal. And Austin close to his second. And happy enough. Swindon monopolising possession at the moment. Goal scoring has been their issue this season. That Austin goal is only number 29 of the season. And it's uh, now Williams, lovely football. And they've hit the post again for the third time in this match. And it's a lovely move, this. Johnny Williams, the orchestrator, and then prodded against the upright. How many more times? <laughs> Steve Milden Hall and uh, Gavin Gunning, I think, will be fairly happy with what they've seen. Played some good football today. And to kill the ten men of Grimsby off. That was Williams onto Khan, and then space on the right. Lovely little dink into the area. Oh, that's some goal! What a goal! Marcel Lavinia, and just after the hour mark, Swindon score again. Fabulous take that is from Lavinia. On his first touch as well. And a second league goal of the season. Swindon extend their lead. Swindon with a little bit more comfort now. Playing with a bit more freedom now, they have the cushion. Let's play forwards. And they're probing again. That's a really smart save, but only as far as Williams. And Swindon stretch further clear. And that is two goals in four second half minutes. And surely now. Grimsby have been put to bed, Swindon with a third, Williams getting in on the act. A seventh league goal of the season for Johnny Williams, and Swindon have three. Swindon hadn't won in four home games. The uh, last home win, in fact, was against Hartlepool, October 22nd. Pretty sure they're going to win this one today from now. And the space here for Darcy, and Darcy with the fourth! And it gets better for the hosts. There's still 12 minutes to go. But Ronan Darcy, another substitute, has got in on the act. And there's just too much space for Swindon to play with. Grimsby have crumbled somewhat in this second half. And Swindon at four. League goal of the season for Darcy. And Paul Hurst, penny for his thoughts at the moment. It's not been a good afternoon for the Mariners. Swindon did win a reverse fixture 2 1 away in September, and they're looking to add. More damage, and it's Khan. And the first time he's ever scored for Swindon. And Grimsby playing themselves into trouble. Swindon punishing them emphatically. 88 minutes on the clock. Swindon five. Grimsby nil. And it's Saidu Khan. And Charlie Austin's return is a triumphant one. A goal on his second debut, got Swindon going, and they return to form with five this afternoon. And, uh, job well done for Steve Mildenhall and Gavin Gunning. Fifth straight away defeat now for Grimsby. Never recovered from Amos's early reds. Robbins going to the playoff places full time. Swindon five, Grimsby nil.